The Vectrex was released in November 1982 by General Consumer Electronics, who, after good initial release sales, were bought out by Milton Bradley shortly after. As you can appreciate, it's actually a TV with a built-in console, or vice versa. As these consoles pass from hand to hand, you can probably imagine the weight that's going around in that box. So, damage occurs to the case, and that's exactly what happened to the one I'd bought. So, I decided to get it customised. Now, if you was just trying to make something look cool, you could use these stick-on skins, but as the damage was on the top, that wasn't an option for me. So, I spoke to my buddy Chris over at ExtremeConsoles.co.uk, and we came up with this, the red, cherry red Vectrex Arcada. Which, as I'm an avid supporter of the Gamers Unite hashtag on Twitter, um, I sent this design over and asked him to put that on. He basically made it into um, an actual arcade looking version with the colours and we went from there. So I hope you like it. This is, as far as I know, the only custom painted Vectrex that's ever been made. Correct me if I'm wrong. The Gamers Unite original logo came from this t-shirt which I had made by a couple of artists and then I've made that now into this which is the Gamers Unite uh, Arcade tee which you'll find I'll link you in on my Teespring Apparel account. So if you've got any consoles that aren't 100% and you need them fixing or anything get a bit creative like this and you can make some great projects and you know the budget for this was £100 that's all it cost me plus postage one way. I think it turned out great, so make sure you drag yours out and should give them the same love and respect they deserve. Thanks to extreme-consoles.co.uk for the help with this, and uh, I hope that you like my Vectrex. It's a bit too heavy for the turntable, as you can see, but never mind. Okay, guys, peace out. Love you. Bye-bye.